Hello everyone. This lecture is part of your paper on youth media and society. This lecture will introduce you to the concept of how youth got affected by fandom and how popular culture affected this psychology. In order to understand all this, we first need to discuss all these concepts in detail. Fandom or fandom studies are about analyzing the nature of media consumption. Till 1992, fandom culture was seen just as a small part of subculture. But after that, it is now emerging as the part of mainstream culture. Fandom is the primary term which means a group of people who are fans of something or someone popular connected through social networks based on their common interest. The term youth is described as a phase of life between a dependent childhood to independent adulthood where young generation is going through a process of transition where they are going from a secure world to a world of choice and risk. Young people are undoubtedly in a particular social category because there are no longer eligible to child benefits but at the same time they need additional care because they are still not fit into a category where they can enjoy all available possibilities and opportunities for the adults. Defining youth is still not easy because youth represent a mixed group of different socio-economic, cultural and educational background, choices, demands and difficulties. Popular culture is a vague term which can be defined in many ways. In easiest way, popular culture is basically a culture which is commonly preferred or accepted by many people. Raymond Williams 1983 gave four different meanings in the word popular culture. Well liked by many people, inferior kinds of work, work deliberately setting out to win favor with the people, culture actually made by the people for themselves. Popular culture is people's culture that dominates in a society at one point of time. It includes parts of social life most dynamically controlled in by the public. Popular culture is decided by the communications among people in their daily life actions, dressing style, the use of jargon, welcoming rituals and the food habits, all examples of popular culture, concept of fandom. Fandom is a phenomenon which has different meanings across the globe. There are two main reasons which define meanings of fandom in any society. First is the income of a country because it determines the access of new media and second is the culture of the particular country and how this culture is 
influenced by the global popular culture fan is an eclipse of fanatic which comes from a latin language word fanaticus the original meaning of this term is bit simple a devotee of or belonging to the temple or a temple servant but when it got adopted by english language its meaning changed quickly and it came with a negative connotation like obsessive frenzy madness to understand the concept of fandom in detail it is important to analyze the word fan first the term fan always inclines towards a negative connotation of some psychiatric problem such as hysteria and pathology but when analyze the real psychology of a fan we find that it is almost as similar as any normal fan of popular culture such as the cognizant of literature and classical music someone who is interested in collecting different forms of art the perfect citizen in democracy and even like any other scholar who is doing academic research there are two type aspects of being a fan one is a fan with a moderate activities and other is a fan with hyper activities the first category includes fans who share wide and comprehensive knowledge of their object they are are deeply emotionally involved with their object they spend large amounts of time on it and profoundly appreciate to share their experience with other people who are having same wavelength the other hyper activity category comprises fans who are accused of having senseless pleasure of leading displaced lives and who do idiotic behavior for their ideals or favorite programs there are three dimensions of fandom first is cultural dimension which was developed in the year 1992 by jenkins fis k and levis according to which fans are taken seriously and their fandom is considered their act of fandom as a product of the cultural background second one is performative dimension which focuses more on the cultural practices than the ideological discourse fandom is a performative action which should explain with some fundamental factors of difference class gender sexuality age and ethnicity above two dimension are mainly focused on global features of fandom and it has anglo section biases a third dimension on fandom culture has emerged which is called the local dimension this dimension is focused more towards the explicit culture cultural background of fan cultures fandom is considered a subculture which is comprised fan who share similar feelings and common interests in reality fandom is like a very large and unorganized family which have some weird features both negative and positive but everyone who is part of this family 
should have connect with these distinguished family features joining a fandom group is not sudden but it takes a lot of time which involves a long process there are seven stages of fandom first stage casual observer second stage developing interest third stage intrigue fourth stage advanced stage fifth stage the discussion sixth stage the end is near seventh stage you get followers media's psychology on fandom fandom or fan culture is always influenced by the media psychology media always promotes fan culture there are two important concepts to understand fandom through media psychology identification and para social interaction psi cohen 1999 explains three probable ways of identification relating to media psychology first identification related with sharing perspective second wishful identification is the fan wishes to identify the public figure in general or specific terms third affinity in which fan like some media figures without connecting with them or creating any kind of emotional or mental relationship the term para social in- interaction explains the social relation between fans and media personalities which fit in a distinctive social relationship cohen describes para social interaction as a relationship in which the you, the viewer is engaged in a role relationship with television persona while most of the psi studies emphasizes on television but this concept is also applicable in the context of pop and movie stars there is some criticism for this concept some have argued that the concept lacks the real social connect between fans and celebrities rubin and mackhug 1997 identify three different types of attraction in para social interaction social physical physical and task attraction according to them social interaction is most important fans are commonly defined as an individual looking for closeness from their association with a celebrity or public figure which means that fans lack sufficient intimate relationship in actual life the relationship between fan and celebrity is a reimbursement of the unsatisfied social interaction this relationship is recognized as an intimate connection rather than a normal communication between people in mass media study the fan celebrity relationship theory was introduced by Horton and Wool in 1956 according to this theory the communication between audience and star offers the impression of classic social relationship 
विच इज कॉल्ड पैरा सोशल रिलेशनशिप द थ्योरी प्रेजेंट्स ब्रॉड लाइन बिटवीन अ रियल लाइफ सोशल इंटरेक्शन एंड अ पैरा सोशल रिलेशनशिप फैंस क्रिएट अ परसोना ऑफ अ सेलिब्रिटी इन अ पैरा सोशल रिलेशनशिप टू मीट देयर साइकोलॉजिकल नीड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ पैरा सोशल रिलेशनशिप विद अ परसोना इज यूजफुल टू एक्म्पलिश द एबसेंस ऑफ प्रिफर्ड इंटरेक्शन इन रियल लाइफ fandom is considered as an obsessed behavior of any individual with a celebrity which is not able to lead a normal social life like other people social relations form social association and build social groups fan cannot be an exception our group identity strongly affects other perception towards us therefore fandom and social identity can be change depending of the context fandom is considered social group of fans the word fandom is used for a group of people who share a common interest or involved in fan activities fans share a sense of common connectivity characteristics of these social groups are based upon the common behavior of its members all the people who can connect with these characteristics can consider themselves as a part of these groups though social identity is not permanent and fans cannot always correlate with it at times an individual is not sure if he his or her behavior is passionate enough to call oneself as a fan sometimes people detach themselves from a particular group identity because they cannot correlate with other group members activities hog gave a reasonable analysis of this type of change in an individual's social identity and named it uncertainty reduction to resolve the sense of ambiguity people cut the amount of shared category label to achieve nominal con- conversion of common similarity to discover the better way of interaction fans identity needs less recognition or assurance unlike other strong social identities such as gender and ethic people can choose to modify this group level giving in the giving to the context social identity describes the commonality of in group member and also the variance among us and others hence people prefer exclude themselves from certain group if it is not seems beneficial to avoid sympathizing then feel upset and fan is an advantage social identity in the current context people would tend to claim as a fan or a part of fandom on the contrary if being a fan does not benefit one then some people will eliminate themselves from the category and the tendency of exclusion 
place in one's passion in the certain topic. Fandom is actually to promote the star and to carry out his her name but not all fans are known and approved by the star this is a false no notion that fandom is created and remotely controlled by stars or their offices youth is the center of all fandom activities across the globe fan belongs mainly to the age group of 10 to 30 in india fan culture or fandom is more active in the southern part all the four south indian states and pondicherry are hub of different type of fandom activities which is planned and hyper visible there are different types of fan club in each states possibly every region within the state in these southern states fan activities are visible even in streets also the best example of the relationship between fan and celebrity is people's love for the Tamil superstar Rajni Kant, who alone has almost 100,000 fans, fan club with a total of million fans. Summing up this lecture, we hope that you have understood the investments, knowledge, interaction and practices involved in fandom are almost similar to those related to scholarship, politics and art. The only difference between these is the nature of textual objects. Media texts are used in by the fans to construct their identity and make sense of day-to-day -day life fan culture capital is stored by fandom which helps to produce an authentic self fandom can be supposed as a performative action in which fandom is considered as outstanding performances of sexuality age gender ethnicity and class in today's world of globalization fandom is an essential way for the construction of locality in which fan cultures either develop around particular local stars or create particular local readings of global stars Hope you enjoyed the lecture. For more details, please read the e-text of this lecture properly and attempt the question in the end. Thank you.